Hey everyone, I'm Nate and thank you for watching my first video. It was cool to see how many people liked it. Um, today we have another React interview question. Uh, if you go to the code sandbox attached in the description, you'll get to the instructions.txt and it'll tell us what to do. Uh, this is a junior level React question, I think. Um, comment on what you think level this question would be and uh, give it a shot first give yourself 45 minutes see if you could do it um, this is more like a real job type of interview you're given a ticket and uh, so let's get into it um, so it's your first day you've been assigned this ticket you have an API you send this API a name and an estimated age will be returned looks like the name goes in this query string um, match the UX photo attached. Let's look at the UX photo. Okay. Simple little component. And if the same name is submitted twice, show the estimated age without hitting the API again. That's like a cache. Okay. We'll get into that later, but let's go to app.js. Um, looks like we have a page container in here already class name and some styling box sizing border box and the page container is set to a view height of 100 view height or a height of 100 view height um looking back at the ux the first thing i'm going to do is just build this out make something that looks like it i see a card ish thing and two sides to this card this left side being the form the right side being the estimated age that's returned from the api so i see one two three sections i see a div for the outside container a div for this form and maybe a div or just a h1 for the age let's get working on that in here we're going to put a div that's for the card itself. Another div for the form. Oh, geez. A div for the card. A div for the form. And maybe for now we'll do an H1 for the returned age. Um, Let's put some class names on here. So class name, card, class name, form, styles.css, okay, dot card. Uh, height and width, I'm gonna take a guess at that. Width, 400 pixels border solid black one pixel cool um, display flex whenever I'm working with uh, something like this and I don't have any styles prepared I will usually set up a class for display flex justify content center align items center and I will apply that where I want it I think I want it on the page container to center that I want it inside the card so everything's centered in there and let's go ahead and go inside the form we know we need an input and we know we need a button it's going to have the word submit in here. Cool. And on this form, I'm also going to want it to be flex. And I want it to be flex uh, direction column. You can see this input and this button are aligned in a row. I want them to be in a column. So 
I actually don't have any styling for the form yet. Flex direction column. And I want to put a gap, maybe 20 pixels. And I think that's it. If we look back at the UX, uh, on the card, I do see a border radius, border radius, 10 pixels maybe. Yeah, that looks good. And these are have some padding in them, both the, both the input and the button. I'm going to do all the children of the form and put a padding of 10 pixels. Uh, also a width of 100%. And do they have a border radius? Nope, they look squared off. Inside of the input, um, we have a placeholder that is enter a name. Cool. That's starting to look like what we got over here. I want to put a gap between this and this. So that's in the card. So if we go to the card and we put a gap, 40 pixels, that looks better. Maybe 45 pixels. And I think we're a little wide on this thing. So let's go with 300 pixels, 350 pixels. Compare that to the UX. I think we have our UX built out. If you could build it out like that, um, that quick, I don't know if I did it quick, but if you can, cool. Now we just need to work on the guts of this thing. And the first thing I'm gonna handle is the uh, this input. I want it to actually work. Um, I need some state for like text and set text equals use state, set it as empty initially. And then in here and the, for the value, I'll have the text. So now we should have a working form. No, we shouldn't because we need an on change. And the on change, it's going to take the event and we're going to set text with the event dot target dot value. Now we should have a working input. Cool. The button, um, when you click it, we want to submit to the API. Uh, let's make a function called handle submit and we're hitting an API so it's going to be asynchronous um, and because I know we're doing an API call in here I know I'm going to want some error handling with the try and catch block const response equals fetch and then the endpoint let's put that in there and if you can remember the name of this thing I forgot what it's called string template literal I believe uh, so we're hitting this API in the name we're gonna actually put our text in there and let's clear all this out Let's, if you know you're using fetch, uh, const value equals response.json. And it is, uh, does return a promise, so you do need to await that promise. Um, and then we console.log value. Let's see what we get with this. Let's put in my name. We got nothing returned. There must have been, oh, look at the button. On click, handle submit. On click. 
Now let's give it a try. Still nothing returned. Where did I go wrong? Handle submit. Does anyone see where I went wrong? You have to await a fetch. There we go. We got a response from the API. And we see that we got JSON. It uh, has a count. I don't think we care about that. But name is Nate and age is 44. So that 44 is really what I want. So I want a piece of state for age set age equals use state uh we'll set it as null initially and that's really the number we want in here is the age and if there is no age we're gonna put just a little dashy thing in there cool um two little dashies two little dashies I don't know why. Um, one little dash. Catch error console.log API error. So that's if uh, something goes wrong in here, at least we're catching it. And I do want to set age to value.h. See if this works. Nate, 44. Wow, really cool. Um, so let's look back at our instructions. We have matched the UX pretty good, I think. Um, if the same name is submitted twice, show the estimated age without hitting the API again. Looks like we need a cache, so const, uh, cache set cache equals use state uh, empty object and once we have a value I'm going to set cache I'm going to spread the old cache now I'm going to add our newfound search and value dot h in there cool so now we've uh, preserved our old cache and added a new one new value in there what we want to do when we do submit is check for this value in that cache so if cache dot has own property and that is going to be of the text set age cache at text so what we're doing here is um, if this is in there if uh, this text value, whatever name we're searching for, is already in our cache, then we're not going to do all of the searching or uh, the back end hit. That means we do need an else in there. So if we already have it in the cache, just uh, pull out the age from there, else we have to hit the API. To make sure that's working, let's console.log cache and console.log API and let's refresh our browser so Nate that came from the API what if I search Nate again that came from the cache Bob API Bob again cache looks like our cache is working nice um, at the end of the try and catch, finally, I always want to set the text back to nothing. So if we search, we're back to nothing. Nate, 44. Cool. I think we have completed everything. 
match the UX photo attached. If the same name is submitted twice, show the estimated age without hitting the API again. Did that with a cache and we matched the UX photo attached. Well, that's it everyone. Um, there is some more things you could do if you wanted to really show off um, some way of showing that error if the API does fail. Uh, show the error. Um, yeah, comment some other things you would expect to see in a form in React. Uh, thank you, everyone. I hope these are fun. I intend to be writing more React interview questions for everyone. I think it's a cool way to learn. It's a cool way to see where you're at. So thank you all.